This film will show you how to suspect and refer a person for leprosy. Benefit to the persons affected will be their early diagnosis and treatment. Many lakhs of patients have already been treated and cured. Leprosy is slowly disappearing from India. However, many patients are still undetected and untreated. We will now show you what leprosy is and what you can do. Like many other infections, leprosy can be treated with medicines known as MTT. Leprosy is a disease that can be easily recognized by you just by carefully looking at the skin of the whole body. That is why we are showing this man from head to toe. Leprosy usually starts as a patch, nodule or thickening of the skin but it may also involve nerves and damage them. Let's have a good look at some signs that you may recognize yourself. The first sign of leprosy is often a patch on the skin that is lighter in color than the surrounding skin. If you see someone with a patch on their skin that may be leprosy, you must find out as much as you can about the previous medical history of the person. Allow yourself plenty of time to talk to patients. They are the people who know their body best. How long has the skin patch been there? How did it start? Has it changed? Leprosy patches usually appear slowly. Leprosy patches do not itch and are usually not painful. Does the person has unusual sensations in his hands or feet such as numbness, tingling, a burning feeling or just dryness? Unusual sensations in the hands or feet can be a symptom of leprosy. Does the person think that his hand or feet have become weaker? Do they have problems with holding or lifting things and with moving their hands and feet? Losing strength in hands or feet can be a symptom of leprosy. When leprosy already exists for some more time, signs of damage may be visible. This claw hand means that some nerves are already damaged. The same goes for this person who cannot close his eyes anymore and is at risk for blindness. Nerve damage due to leprosy in the leg can result in a drop foot. A painless ulcer is also a suspect sign for leprosy. Chronic congestion in the nose or bleeding due to ulceration of nasal mucosa may be a first symptom. A leprosy reaction can very well be the reason to consult you. Hence your patient may present with aridocyclitis, erythema nodosum leprosum or ENL swollen and painful hands and feet or acutely inflamed patches. Lacking of a regular blink of the eye should raise suspicion for leprosy as well. Incomplete closure of eye on attempt is a suspect sign. Remember, if you see a skin condition that looks like leprosy, always refer the person to a health center. Examination of a nearby contact is also important because new patients can be detected. With early detection and MDT treatment, deformities and social problems can be prevented. Today we accompany Asha Seema on one of her home visits in her village. She will examine family members on early signs of leprosy. Somebody in this family has started treatment for leprosy some weeks ago. Therefore, the work of Asha's is so important and Seema will now show you how to do 3-minute examination. Examination of the skin from head to toes is being done on the front of the body as well as the back. Make sure that there is enough light to see even a slight difference in skin color.
The best way is to examine the person's whole body in as private a place as possible like in this compound. Can you see any patches on the skin? If you find any suspect sign of leprosy, ask for previous treatment. However, you do not have to mention leprosy now. The diagnosis should first be confirmed at primary health center. The person should be referred by you to the primary health center. One complete examination will last only for about 3 minutes. Privacy is of course appreciated and is important as you need to carefully examine the covered parts of the body. If contacts are absent, it is useful to return at a more convenient moment. A last advice from Seema to the family was to report to her whenever they notice a patch. How to suspect leprosy? Always remember that. Thick red and nodular skin of earlobe, face or hands and feet. Patches on skin which are lighter in color. Leprosy patches usually spread slowly. Leprosy patches usually do not itch and are not usually painful. Unusual sensation in hands or feet. Losing strength in hands or feet. A painless ulcer. Loss of blinking or inability to close eyes. Pain in joints. Examine the persons in contact from head to toe for patches, nodules or deformity in hand, foot or eye. Take care of privacy and confidentiality. Refer if you suspect leprosy.